Let's say you're like me, and you have friends who also play Create Mod, and you hop onto a creative world together, and they build monstrosities like these. My, my friend here last night, he built this, like, auto-targeting cannon thing, and decimated this, this super flat world. And, you know, I was like, all fun and games is super flat, we're in creative, we don't care. Well, let's say somebody had something like this in survival, and they're the kind of person who would target your house and blow it up. We all have that friend. Let me know if you do. Anyway, what if you need a survival base that can move around? And maybe not the fastest, but it's technically mobile and really awesome. Well, I came up with that invention today. So let me show you my very first walker. So over here, I kind of he was firing this stuff last night and my ship was a little too close, so I had to walk it away. And uh, yeah, so anyway, I built this massive walker right here. And I mean, I think it looks pretty cool. If you think it looks cool, let me know. If you hate it, also let me know. Yeah, I, I, I built this yesterday kind of just out of pure spite and boredom, but let me, let me give you a tour. All right, so to get in this thing, you're gonna have to come down here, hit this button, and it will lift you right up here. You can go in. It's powered by gasoline. This, this engine is completely survival friendly, might I add. Let me just, if we come down here, look at it, we've got this gasoline engine right here, and all of it uses components that you can obtain in survival with the right create add-ons. Right here would be the hand crank that you would use to power it, but the engine is already on. And we have these two levers right here that will basically just shut off the rest of the machine so you're not overstressed when you try to power it on. Up here we've got we've got some seating just in case you take some friends along. This is to make it auto walk so you don't have to hold the button. Then we got the cockpit down here. And you yeah, know I, th I think this looks pretty cool. Just being able to sit the cockpit's a little lower just to try to make it look better. I, I like the design and if you go up here, a little quick access up here, we have an auto cannon. I don't know why, it's kind of weird in first person, I'm not really sure why. You can shoot, just in case your friends are being annoying, those. There's a propeller here, this is specifically to give it, give this thing just a little more lift so it has an easier time walking, because it is a pretty heavy build. And now probably the part you're more curious about, the legs. So let me just go into spectator mode, show you how it works. Alright, so we have the engine right here, obviously. Everything's powered all right, and it goes all the way throughout the the mech walker thing, right? And then you get right here, and you'll notice this this clutch and this gear shift. So this clutch is attached to this guy right here, which would basically, or it's an inverted clutch, but whatever. It's attached to that guy, and that just tells it when when should it start walking, pretty much. And you'll see this gear shift right here, and notice that this thing is powering on and off. Just, just repeatedly. I, I did some research on walkers, and from what I learned, the best way to make them walk is to basically just set up a clock and then put them to a toggle latch, and it will just alternate the legs properly, so you don't have to use like the the like sequence gear shifts. It makes things a lot easier. And this walker design, I just want to say, it was inspired by YouTuber Longing Rhino with a very similar looking walker that he built. It it has its differences, like this back leg is facing forward like the rest of them are. The color design is obviously different, but there are similarities, so I just want to uh, credit him. Okay, so now we have that, we have that, that clock and then this gear shift powers these shafts down here which then will power these these bearings and every so often I placed another uh, vertical gearbox to just invert the rotational force and stuff you know basic robot stuff you know very simple these mechanical bearings they this thing uses a total of 12 mechanical bearings are they mechanical are they called mechanical bearings? I don't even know. I'm sorry, I meant physics bearings. I, I'm, I'm, I meant physics bearings. I'm sorry. So this thing uses 12 physics bearings, but only six of them actually get rotational force um, because the other ones are just, just there to create another limb to the leg. Okay, so like you see, the, there's physics bearings like right here and right here, and those are receiving the power, but these guys 
they are only here to just allow this section to free wiggle. And in order to get the walking right, you have to get the weight right. So it's technically a survival friendly build, but it uses a ton of netherite blocks. Like we got, we got netherite right here. We got netherite right here. And it's, it's like two pieces of netherite per leg. And for some weight distribution, I've hidden some netherite blocks here. There's a lot of netherite. So it's, it is technically survival friendly. It, it is survival friendly, but just not survival practical. One more thing is turning. I couldn't quite figure out a good way to do this, so I just used thrusters from the VS Tournament mod, and just whenever it turns, it just shoots these guys in the appropriate direction. It's, it's a simple system, but it works. Alright, so now the moment you have all been waiting for, the walker. Alright, let's hit it. Sometimes it takes a moment to get started up, but once it, once it gets going, it gets going pretty good. Oh, just look at that. Look at that. So good. And if I want to turn it, hit these. Turn speed's a little slow but it does end up actually turning, which I kind of like that it's slow because it feels more like a walker. So eventually it's gonna come around here, gonna turn, see, it, 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 it turns pretty slowly, but this thing was just designed for fun. I didn't really know a good way to make it turn fast. If you have any suggestions on how to make this thing turn faster, let me know. I'm guessing I could have probably used like a propeller bearing or something, but I wanted it to not look like it was turned by propellers. But yeah, pretty cool. Let me just put it in its auto walk mode. I just do that. And from the inside is my favorite part. Cause like it just it feels so organic as you're walking through it. You can you can sometimes make it out here. Eh, that's, the, that's the one thing, it's kinda hard to go through doors. Yeah, so this thing is just it's just walking, just cruising. Could sit out here on the balcony, enjoy a view. And now like it, it is it is very slow, but just look at that. Like the leg mute movement. It can look clunky at times, but sometimes it also just looks really cool. And just so nice. I was all, I also took inspiration from a ATTE from Star Wars. That, that was a lot of that was a big inspo. Mainly that was the reason why I put the cannon on because I wanted to be able to like sit on here while it's going and just be like. <laughs> yeah, we have fun. Yeah, but. Oh, Overall, I think I did a pretty good job on this walker. Looks pretty sleek. I mean, I was experimenting with copper casing. Not the biggest fan of the block, but I felt like for the build, I think it looked pretty cool. Definitely, if I built another one of these, we'd go with a different color palette. But overall, I think it looks pretty nice. Well, that's all I got for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed my showcase of of this little mech walker thing. If you want to see more content like this, please like and subscribe and if you want to see anything specific leave a comment down below and tell me what you'd like me to make maybe i'll do it i hope you all have a fabulous day see ya